In this corner of the Yucatan Peninsula, thousands of tourists visit each day, many via cruise, with no idea what lies below the surface of this Mexican island. The turquoise waters surrounding the island are a call to adventure, beckoning you to explore an underwater world of vibrant coral reefs and diverse sea life. Here, time slows down as you lose track of how many hours you've been under the sun. If that doesn't sound like a day well spent, we don't know what is. Travelers, welcome to Cozumel! Cozumel is the next stop on our nine part series around the Riviera Maya and we are so excited to be back here. It's not to brag, but we're kind of experts in Cozumel because we used to be over here every other week. We used to work in a cruise ship which docked over here every two weeks. So every other week we were like just around the island. Today we're going to show you how we have the perfect day in Cozumel and if you're coming here perhaps on a cruise, I know they come for just one day a lot of the time, or if you're looking to do a day trip from Cancun or Playa del Carmen, Carmen, this is the video for you. All right, let's start because we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's go! Cozumel is an island, so we have to get there by ferry. And the best place to take the ferry is Playa del Carmen, that is just in front. There's two companies, two different ferries that you can take, and they leave every two hours each of one. So, for instance, at 11, one leaves over here, the orange one, then at 12, the blue and yellow one. So, you have to decide in which one you want to go. Now, there's something you have to know. If you buy the round trip, it's cheaper, but we didn't because we don't know at what time we're gonna come back, you know? Because otherwise, if you go with the orange, you have to go back at your hours. So let's say at four, at six, at eight, something like that. So you have to take that in mind in case you want to return at a certain hour, all right? The price that we pay for one way is 220 pesos. But as I said, it's cheaper if you buy it round trip. We're running a little bit behind schedule and we're already kind of hangry, so I think we need to get something in our system. There's an empanada stand here, we're gonna grab a bite there because it's another place we want to go on Cozumel for breakfast, but we need something to tie us over until then. I remember the last time that I was in the Caribbean, but I forgot how beautiful the turquoise water looks. It's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah! Remembering now why we used to work on cruise ships. I do. This was a really cool backyard to have every day. Should we go back? <laughs> no, no, no. Like in any port city in Mexico or in the Caribbean, expect to be bombarded by vendors from the minute you step foot. <laughs> So uh, we're actually going to go past all the commotion because we need coffee. Cause Coffee is the name of the place that we chose today to get our cup of joe. Conveniently, it is just a few steps away from the ferry terminal too. Kind of quiet actually, I'm surprised. I loved their coffee menu though. I'm the type of person who loves like fun drinks. So I'm gonna try the peanut butter coffee and our team just got a macchiato. We're also doing a couple banana breads and then we're gonna find some scooters. Oh my God. This is amazing. It's literally like drinking a Reese's peanut butter cup. I don't think I'll ever be able to replicate this. So uh, this could be the only time I ever have this in my life. Okay, the best way to get around the island, it could be renting a car or renting a scooter. That second option is the one that we're gonna do. So we're gonna try to find a place so we can rent a scooter and just get around because we have a couple of places that we're gonna, we want to visit. So we're gonna tell you guys how much we paid. We don't know still. <laughs> we will we'll see. We're gonna figure it out. We got our motorcycle or scooter. It was 600, but I started talking to him and tried to negotiating, so it was 500 at the end of the day. 
we needed to leave a deposit of 1,000 pesos or uh, an ID. So we leave Juliana's ID. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm gonna be driving. driving. And um, we have to return in before 7 o'clock and we have to put some gas whenever we return it. Uh, they explain us, they give us a little map and also they give us uh, some recommendations to drive through the island. So we're ready. ready. I, have the, I have the yellow helmet. Juliana has a red one. You're going to see you guys. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But let's go. All right. We're seeing lots of cruise ship workers and we know where they're all headed. A secret little spot called No Name Bar. We're going to pass it. Aquí, Hotel Barracuda, No Name. Donde el cielo encuentra el mar, No Name Bar. What that means is that where the heavens meet the sea, no name bar. Doesn't that as good in English? <laughs> but I do know a lot of crew members would get tattoos at the tattoo shop right next door. It's pretty good. I want to get one. This is first to local. Woo! Good job, McKean. Oh, we see a little critter here. Hey, buddy. You know what it feels like right now, Martine? How does it feel? This feels like my uh, Zoom background I have at work, but this isn't a green screen. <laughs> Now we're getting old school tours to local on you guys because six or seven years ago, one of the very first videos where we see Martine on this channel. One of her first dates as well. Yeah, was in Cozumel and we came here. My name is Juliana and welcome to Tourist to Local. This is Martine and today we are going on an adventure. Whenever you arrive to Cozumel, you will see a lot of signs that they want to take you in a tour to Playa del Cielo. Yep, which means what? The heaven. Yeah, beach of the heavens because there's a lot of starfish. It looks like you're in the stars. That's right. So right now we're doing the same tour that we did, as Juliana said, six or seven years ago, and we're going to enjoy it. Yeah, and what's cool is that we're actually saving a lot of money the way we did it because you take your vehicle or taxi, whatever, to Playa Palancar. And here, not only do you have the beach club where you can spend all day, but you can also grab a tour. It's totally worth it. Juliana and me, we already did it. It's amazing. Funny enough, guys. Uh, we actually watched our own video to remember how to do this. Now, it's because we needed some facts. We didn't remember yeah. the, the name of the beach, the Playa Palancar. We didn't remember nope. how long the tour was. Nope. So. Yep, exactly. And uh, I'll, I'll link up above the video because that's like a time capsule. I have blonde hair. We were living our best lives and I think we've improved a lot since then. Yeah, I was, I was this skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Martina and I on our first date. <laughs> They captured it so beautifully. Cost six fifty each, and it takes one and a half hours. We're gonna visit three places, and it takes like ten minutes to get there, or fifteen minutes to get there, and ten minutes to get back. I don't know how that works. Ready, babe? Ready. Was born ready. Let's go see some starfish. Come on. <laughs> it's really weird. It was like kissing a fish. Go get on. Now you can kiss me like that. Good idea. Yeah, better. Feel like a fish. Yeah. The snorkeling was beautiful. It was as beautiful as we remember six years ago. Totally worth it, beautiful. We saw starfish, we saw a lot of fishes, we saw a lobster. You saw yeah. the lobster, Juliana? Yeah. Afterwards, we decided to hang out over here in the beach club because we needed to cover um, minimum consumo. And I think it was 185 pesos, so 
doable completely. I have my drink over here and we have a guacamole to recover a little bit from all that swim. But we're gonna show you another place. We have to grab the bike, we have to go back again. It's funny because uh, there was so many motorcycles that looked like ours because everybody was renting. Who would have known that recording these videos would have helped us to find our ride because we had to look back on the footage? That's the perk of doing it too. Hey! <laughs> Now for my gringos watching, let me tell you a little tip that is relevant to all beach towns in Mexico. The further away from the beach you go, more inland, prices drop. It's an inverse correlation. These tacos, 22 pesos, a little more than a dollar at today's rate. I'd say that's a good deal. They're very good. They're authentic. So, they're perfect for me. <laughs> good. What a day exploring Cozumel. It definitely brought back so many memories. So many. And this is how we say goodbye to beautiful island. I wish we can go back next week. I know, but we have so many fun places we're going to be showing all around the Riviera Maya. So stay tuned for more. So long. Travel well. Make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. The best way to support us as we make these videos is to subscribe and leave a comment so this video can reach a wider audience. You can also check out our Buy Us a Coffee link in the description to contribute directly to helping us upgrade our gear. And don't forget to check out our other social media sites and our Spanish channel, Bitácora de Viajero, where we make these exact same videos in Spanish.